Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and run Endeavor OS on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So we can have Windows, Linux, Mac OS and different other operating systems right here. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox and to do that, head to your browser and then search for VirtualBox. You can see the first page over here heading to virtualbox.org. Click on it. And by the left, click on downloads. So, this is VirtualBox for Windows, for Mac OS, Linux, and many other operating systems. So, we are going to select for Windows host and it should start downloading. I already have it installed, so I really don't have to download again. After downloading, you just have to install like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on Windows. Now we have to search for Endeavor OS as well. So just search for Endeavor OS and you're going to see the page heading to EndeavorOS.com which you can click on and it would take you right here. Now up here you can see download and help. Select latest release and download. And there you go. So you can see Endeavor OS with different desktop environments, Xface, Mate, Gnome, Plasma and so much more. Now these are servers where we can download Endeavor OS from. So we can select any one of these, so click on download ISO and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded so I don't really have to download again. But you can select any one of these and you should be able to download. After downloading Endeavor OS we can close our browser and then open VirtualBox. Now we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on new. Let's call this Endeavor OS. Set the type to Linux. Set the version to Arch Linux 64 bits. Click on next. Now this is the RAM which is base memory. You can set to whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend setting over 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else that will slow down your host machine. Same with the processor. Next, now allocate the storage to this machine. So you have to give it enough storage so you'll be able to do whatever you want to do with it. But I'm just going to give it 31 gigabyte, and that should be okay. Next, finish. Now we have to make few changes here, so click on settings. Now go to system and from here you can change and switch up the processor and RAM as well depending on the performance and what you need. Now go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Enable 3D acceleration and then head to storage. Click on the empty disk icon under controller IDE and then by the right click on the disk icon again. Choose a disk file. Now head to your download folder or wherever your ISO is and then select Endeavor OS, open and then OK to add it. Now we can start the machine and begin the installation. So just click on start. So it should boot in few seconds so you can just hit enter. Okay, so what we can see here is the live environment of Endeavor OS. However, we have to start the installation from here. But if you just want to use it for something real quick, then you can just use it for whatever you want. But if you want to install, then this is where we start the installation. So what we're going to do is click on start the installer. Now we can either go with online installation or offline installation. For the offline installation, you're going to go with Xface desktop environment, which is kind of like the default environment. But if you're going with the online installation, then you can choose any other desktop environment you want. But I'm quite okay with Xface, so I'm going to go with the offline installation since I don't really have to download anything again. Now select a language and then next. Set your time zone, next. Set your keyboard format, next. 
now we are going with grub bootloader so make sure it is selected and then next okay so this is where endeavor os will be installed you can see our vbox hard disk which we are looking at earlier now we are going to select erase disk this is going to erase the disk and then install endeavor os now we don't really need swap so no swap and then we can next full name enter your details there enter password and confirm everything and install install now now this may take some time it all depends on your hardware and how much resources you are located but you just have to wait and we are done now click on restart now and then click on done okay so after the installation we can close this click on devices optical devices and then we can untick endeavor os to remove it force on mount and just confirm that on virtualbox by going to settings storage and you can see it is no longer here now we can restart our machine So basically, this is how to install Endeavor OS on VirtualBox. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.